Well, let me just say, the last video ended prematurely. Let me pick it up right where that video ended. Daniel Dubois has never gone 12 rounds. The last time he went the distance was in a 2018 fight against Kevin Johnson. That's the secret to his matchup with AJ. Right? Does Dubois have a chance to win? Yes, he does. But it's going to have to be a shootout where he takes Joshua's punches. Folks, I don't think that's going to work out well for him. So rather than take a side, folks, let's just bet distance. This version of Anthony Joshua is much more alpha, starts much faster, lets his hands go, is much more aggressive. This version of Daniel Dubois tries to draw a line in the sand early. Folks, I'm not expecting this fight to go the distance. Even if the odds are a minus 300 that the fight won't go the distance, I believe that's a winning play. Right? Dubois has to realize he was getting outboxed by Philippe Ergovic. He has to now realize, looking back, his best chance of beating Usyk was by stoppage. When he had Usyk on the canvas, he should have jumped on Usyk afterwards and stayed on Usyk. The idea should have been, look, if you're going to recover, you're going to have to do so in a hailstorm. Right? So I believe a statement is going to be made in this fight. I don't believe either guy wants a decision. I believe Joshua is the better boxer than Daniel Dubois. But I believe Joshua wants a stoppage. He understands that Philippe Ergovic should have gotten a stoppage against Daniel Dubois, given the number of power shots he landed. So, to me, the first bet to make, and we'll make other videos on this fight, but the first bet to make in AJ versus Daniel Dubois is that the fight does not go the distance. Right? Let's be real here, too. Understand, Dubois would like, just like Joshua, Dubois would like nothing better than to get a rematch against Alexander Usyk. Right? I believe both AJ and Dubois have surprised the boxing public in their last few fights. Right? Because AJ's starting faster. He's not waiting on you. He's pursuing even a southpaw like Otto Wallet. Right? I believe the Dubois riddle has been solved. Right? You're looking at Dubois fights. You realize he is not only not defensively blessed. You realize he's defensively handicapped. Right? Let's, let's be real here. You know, Joe Joyce is landing a jab the entire fight, isn't he? In the comment section of this video, tell us the adjustment that Daniel Dubois makes in that fight, if any, to avoid Joe Joyce's jab. The Kevin Lorena fight, folks, please look at that fight. How is Lorena landing so many flush shots so early against Daniel Dubois? Right? Understand, Lorena's a gamer, but Lorena was a cruiserweight. How could Big Punch Dubois allow a guy from a lighter weight class to travel to the UK and then tune him up early in that fight? Look at what happens before Dubois gets the stoppage. Folks, Dubois is getting hit hard. Then, of course, the Philippe Ergovic fight where Ergovic is landing right hand after right hand. Now here again, officially that's a Dubois stoppage. Look at the footage before the stoppage. 
If I'm Dubois, I have to realize that I don't have the defense to go 12 rounds, nor have I gone 12 rounds in any fight in my career. So his only shot against AJ is to let his hands go. Right, folks? I'm expecting a shootout. I'll be surprised if this fight goes longer than AJ's fight against Robert Hellenius. Right? Neither guy should go in there and outthink themselves. Right? If I'm Dubois, my attitude has to be, I've got to land some shots. Let me also make a point, too. If he drops AJ off a body shot and the referee says, hey, that's a low blow, he needs to have the mindset of, look, I cannot let this brother recover. I've already been down this road once in a big fight against Usyk. This is my moment. Even if I get knocked out, I've got to go for it over the next six minutes. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.